Welcome to my Small Thoughts channel. Why Small Thoughts? Well, small thoughts can help lead to big thoughts or help us cope with the big thoughts when they come along, as they often do, don't they? So, welcome, 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 new puzzle buddies, old puzzle buddies, and soon to be puzzle buddies. Thank you for coming by my Small Thoughts channel and my Small Thoughts room, a place in my house I like to come and have small thoughts, mostly with puzzles. So, Today's video, I'm very excited, is part two of my Christmas collection series. The first one I just finished was Home for the Holidays, and this one is Santas and Sleigh Bells. So I've got a nice collection of you, about 10, 11 puzzles from different brands, Cobble Hill, Ravensburger, <laughs> and White Mountain that I'm kind of excited to show you. And they're mostly Santa and sleigh oriented one, and I even have my little Christmas Eve bauble ornament earrings on that I'm wearing that are getting a little sore so I may have to take them off. So first some housekeeping I guess. I'm going to have a little drink of my tea from my Mary and Bright mug and the tea today I'm having is delicious. It is from Sloan and it's called Celebration Medley and it's a company out of Toronto and they make unbelievably delicious teas. Very expensive but very worth it and uh I make it la make them last. This has probably last me uh, two years. This is like a it's loose tea. It's kind of messy, and it smells like um, a very adult version of an apple, orange peel, cinnamon. It's a Rubio based tea, which has got no caffeine, and I absolutely love it. It's a nice treat for me to have at Christmas time and the holidays. So I'm going to have a sip of my tea. You have a sip of whatever you're drinking, and we'll get started. Mm. Delicious. Oh my goodness, that is delicious. Okay, so first off, I wanted to share with you um, something special to me. We, we, we briefly touched on it in my last video, and that's the little tiny ceramic Christmas tree in the corner. And that's a tree that we probably had in my family. I want to say, like, a lot of people recognize that they probably have the exact same tree, probably 60 years or so, maybe 60 plus rows and years. Or, and it's always kind of had a spot in my grandmother's home and then my mom's home and then mine. And we haven't had it up and working for, for several years now. So we spent some time on it and we've got the lights all fixed up and the ceramics. And last video we went to go light it and unfortunately there were some technical difficulties. So I'm really hoping that today we'll get that that uh, that poor tree up and lit. I was really excited to see it. So just hang on a second. I'll see if we have any reports. Just hang on. Oh, Copernicus! Copernicus! Copernicus was working on the lights over the weekend, and I think he's got them working. We'll find out soon. Oh, here he comes now. There he is. Did you want some help? Okay. Ready? Well, come on up. We're really anxious to hear about the Christmas tree uh, update. Here he is. There he is. There's the star of the show, my hero. Thank you for getting the Christmas tree down. I'm really excited about that. Got it all working? Okay. Can I help you with anything? Let me take that for you. Okay, got it. Well, I'm very excited to get the tree lit. Did you get all the lights all up and working? Wonderful. Do you think we can get a chance to see them? Like now? Can we turn it on now? Oh, okay. Well, I think... Um, I think Copernicus would like to wait a little bit. He's going to go do some more testing. And then at the end of the video, we'll come and we'll have the, 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 the lighting of the trees. Does that sound right? Well, I'm very excited and I'm very appreciative, Copernicus, of the work that you did on our Christmas tree. So I'm looking forward to the end of the video when we can see your hard work and the lights finally light after years, like years. I haven't seen this light up for, for so long. It's going to be really exciting. And all the little lights came on, the little yellow ones and the red ones and all of those. Well, I'm very excited to see. Thank you for your hard work, Copernicus. Okay, later. Can you get down okay? 
Okay, well, so hopefully we'll get to see that Christmas tree lit by the end of the video. I'm very excited. So a little bit more housekeeping. If you wait to the end of the video again, you'll see more information. I'm having a gift, a puzzle buddy gift away of a little puzzle package that I want to be able to give to one of my very special puzzle buddies. You can enter the giveaway by subscribing and commenting. Uh, hashtag puzzle buddy in the comment section. And if you like, you can tell me a little bit what the kind of puzzles you like, if you have a theme or a size. 300, 500,000, and if you happen to win, I will be able to send you a nice little package. So thank you again for allowing me, Puzzle Buddies, to have small thoughts with you. So the first puzzle I'm going to show you is one that, probably one of the best ones. This is from White Mountain. I'm going to be careful because the box kind of opened up a little bit. So White Mountain is one of, I don't have them much on my, uh, my videos, but they are one of my favorite video, um, one of my favorite puzzle companies. They do beautiful puzzles, gorgeous artwork, very traditional, very nostalgic. Um, I think I don't do them as much because they tend to lean towards the thousand pieces and they're quite large. They're 24 inches by 30 inches and their commitment. I kind of I try and do a theme kind of per season and this one is beautiful and you can see why I like it so much. That's a, that's a white mountain over there, that's Pond Life. So this is called Santa's Slay. And that is by a couple, Daryl and Graham Peters, is, are the artists. And they do very, very traditional, or did very traditional Victorian images. And you can see the traditional Saint Nick and his sleigh with his reindeer. And okay, to be honest, I mentioned it before, I have a thing about eyes. And I'm not I don't really like the eyes. So something that I'll do with him is I'll take the piece out and I won't go do that kind of last because I don't want to see these little eyes looking at me. And also, too, I won't tell you my other pet peeve, but it's in here. <laughs> it's uh, a beautiful collage. The colors are stunning. You can't tell from the puzzle lid how beautiful this is because the, the, the finished puzzle is probably about four times the size of the box, maybe even bigger. And then these little beautiful, beautiful, they're Christmas cards. Victorian images of Christmas cards all around the border and all around that puzzle. And you can see some beautiful scenes of, of course, St. Nicholas, Father Chris, Father Christmas, some dancing ladies, Carol, Carol Rose Holly, all kinds of pretty scenes. And they must be, I don't even know, a hundred different little collage uh, type cards, which is one of my perfect puzzles to do. I love doing puzzles that have collages and hid little images hidden with images. So beautiful puzzle. I would call this a medium to intermediate difficulty because there are a thousand pieces, which does make it a little harder. It's very large and there's a lot of blue and similar colors in the palette. What does make this easier, I don't know if you can tell from the box, it has a border and that border is on the puzzle itself because you can get some clues from that. And then this is these colors are really pretty with the scene down below with Santa and the reindeer over scene. So this is a great, 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 great Christmas puzzle. And I'm just going to put it over here. And that next one is another White Mountain, which um, I have not opened yet. I bought it, oh, I want to say two years ago, and I have not had a chance to do it yet. So this is uh, Merry Christmas to All. <laughs> you can see a theme here. Beautiful collage from White Mountain of all the different cute Santa traditional, very kind of Norman Rockwell-like. The artist is R.J. McDonald, or uh, also like Wyeth, if you like those, like that kind of the beautiful, beautiful uh, oil paintings set in the collage. I think we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Santa scenes, all ranging from him having a snack with Mrs. Claus, him, I think he's navigating his pathway for Christmas Eve here on his giant globe. Here he's touching up some toys and having a cup of probably cocoa in there with pro. I think that looks like I don't think it's Rudolph. Might be Donner looking in and some nice toys. And there's Santa down there having a quiet little moment to himself. Maybe he's having a small thought moment. There, I think he's doing some inspecting and then some more toys. And there's some cute little kittens here. I don't know if you can see that. And then here he is on the big day of Christmas Eve with his sleigh 
bursting with toys and parcels through the snowy. Oh, there's some little animals there. I cannot wait to do this puzzle. Gorgeous, gorgeous puzzle. I'm um, curious to see if anyone else likes this puzzle as much as I do, and if that would make their cut for their Christmas puzzle list. Okay, so that's White Mountain. Next, I've got a cobble hill. So this is a 500-piece cobble hill. I'm not going to tell a lot about Cobble Hill. I've been told I talk a lot about Cobble Hill, and I will continue because it is Canadian, it's a great value, and they're a fantastic puzzle company. So, naysayers, I will continue. This is Moonlit Winter, oh, also by Linda Nelson Stocks, who I, I featured in video one, the Home for the Holidays video. She, does, she did very, very beautiful oils of traditional scenic life. You can see here beautiful little town with a sleigh hence the santas and sleighs so we've got a sleigh in here and a little family maybe two sisters reuniting and talking and the church over here and the beautiful dark dark blue indigo very dark uh prussian blue sky and a little boy with his puppy so cute adorable adorable scene medium to intermediate difficulty because of the lot of the blue and the white but really worth it. 500 pieces comes with a puzzle. The finish size is 19 by 26 inches. I will just double check that. Oh, correct. I was right. So we've got that one and we'll just put that over there. Another great holiday puzzle from Cobble Hill. Wow, I'm really within through these. Okay, next is another Cobble Hill, but different than probably one that I normally show you. It is a... Uh, not an illustration it's a photograph and normally i don't do the photographs i like i prefer illustrations and artwork so this is a photograph but you'll see why i like this one look at gorgeous 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 and this is called can we guess this is called christmas balls and indeed they are so beautiful shiny look at christmas color all the different shapes of stars and on engravings and hand-blown glass and beautiful colors of the rich jewel tones of the ambers the cranberries the reds the greens the hunter greens lots of golds and warm tones and it's very glittery very difficult puzzle because there's so many similarities in the different tones stunning when it's done this is a beautiful 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 puzzle and i probably would consider framing it uh, if it's that stunning, but it's a nice one to do every year, and I love this puzzle. 500 pieces by Cobble Hill. It only comes in the 500 piece size, but it's a photographer, and a photographer I like to give credit to if they've got it here, is by Joanne Richards out of Victoria. Okay, next, another Cobble Hill. This is by Janet Stevers, an artist who does very, um, whimsical designs and this is called look how pretty the cute that is this is called hell of a lot of snowmen look at all the snowmen on the hill with their brightly covered scarves and hats and mittens and all their different accessories like broom and of course we have a nice little red cardinal that's come by to give a message to all his snowman friends and the little families of the little little baby the baby snowman and little snowman all over coming together for a snowman festival hill of a lot of snowmen by cobble hill i really really found this quite to be a charming sweet puzzle i'm not sure i would do it again because i'm not a huge fan of the portrait i find them a little bit harder to do but I love this puzzle, and I, if you don't mind doing the portrait or if you have a fancy swivel or easel, then by all means go ahead. Um, I don't want to turn anyone off of doing a portrait puzzle or looking at this puzzle. I just have a hard time doing them. Okay, so that's Janet Stevers, Hell of a Lot of Snowmen by Cobble Hill. And I have another one here on our Santas and Sleigh theme. This one, oh, I love this puzzle. This is another one I do, I do every year. And it's nicer than a box, if that makes sense. Okay, this is Cobble Hill, and this is called Village Tree. And after I said I didn't like to do portrait puzzles, I'm telling you how much I love this one. I really like this one a lot. It's beautiful. The cute little dog. This is by Persis Clayton Weirs. 
I believe he lives in the UK. And he this is this looks like it might be acrylic. So this is beautiful uh, village scene with a giant Christmas tree, the village tree in the center of the town center, and we've got the little bridge with the sleigh a little dog and I found this was quite hard because the greens are all very very similar I was able to do it a little bit with the garland swatches and figure it out but I did find it difficult and then I love of course the little scenes of the little skaters and the people looking on and then we've got a country store people doing some last minute Christmas shopping a very quiet still winter scene here with village tree so a really pretty 500 piece Cobble Hill puzzle that I think I will do second just because I find it very calming and I like the idea I like doing the same puzzle every year I like to put on Christmas carols or some Christmas music I really like jazz Christmas uh, music <laughs> uh, like Ella Fitzgerald kind of stuff and I like to put this on with a hot drink and uh, do my Christmas puzzle <clears throat> I wonder if anyone else has some routines or rituals they do at Christmas fun puzzling I'd like to hear Okay, so we're coming to another Cobble Hill, and this has got a wonderful, jolly, amazing, look at him, Santa, very, very much in the style of, that, of the Norman Rockwell. Look at how happy and nice he is. <laughs> I love this Santa. Beautiful artwork, really uh, gorgeous technique to get that effect of the, the glowing that we get from this from the star, from the lights on the tree, and of course from Santa himself and his little friends, the bunny, squirrels, chipmunk, a oh, little little fox, a little turkey who maybe pheasant coming by to say hi. And what else we got there? A raccoon hidden, a black bear, oh traditional Christmas black bear and some I think must what must be doves and an owl looking on and of course a reindeer watching beautiful beautiful calm serene Christmas puzzle love this Christmas puzzle this is a thousand pieces I don't think I'll get a chance to do this this might go in one of my um, puzzle buddy giveaways because still wrapped still in the box and I would love to gift this to one of my very special friends Okay, so that's uh, Cobble Hill, and next I've got a couple more, and that is Ravensburger. I'm, I'm so pleased I'm moving along quickly today. Not too many interruptions today. We had a lot of interruptions in the last video, which reminds me, how are the uh, Christmas lights coming along? Are we on track to put, them, to put them up at the end of the video? Apparently we are. Okay, so my second last puzzle by Ravensburger. So Ravensburger is, of course, probably the most well-known puzzle company in the world, I'm guessing. They started back in the 19th century. And I believe it was an engineer that started off doing uh, directions for board games and things. And they started making puzzles, Ravensburger puzzles in 1964 and I remember you could get Ravensburger and I think Schmidt when I was young those were the two puzzle companies the big ones I love puzzles when I was alive I first discovered puzzles when at a, at a friend's house when I was staying there um, when my mom was having my brother I stayed at a friend's place for a couple of weeks and they were a puzzle doing family and I first got exposed and I was just thrilled to discover and of course they provided me with a sort of comfort and joy ever Oh, Ravensburger. This is, oh, so this is called the bone. I went off. I got caught up in my own nostalgia. A Merry Christmas shop. This is an amazing, amazing puzzle. I've seen it all over Instagram. I've seen it everywhere. Gorgeous puzzle. Fantastic size. It's a 500 and it's, I think, 15 by 19. Perfect, perfect size. So the 500 and this one is this, the pieces I think I'm going to show you are a little bit smaller. They're the same size as a normally as a thousand piece one. And Ravensburger has the most amazing click. Like, I think they call it their soft click technology. And when you do the puzzle, the pieces just kind of fall into place and give you a very satisfying click as you put 
very satisfying snap as you put them in, and I highly, highly recommend. This is, I don't know if this is a, a limited edition, but it is a special Christmas edition that they come out, Christmas shop, and it's got so many things to look at, and don't be, de don't be deceived. This is actually a very difficult puzzle. Why? Because it's got these lights here are very similar to these and these and all along here. So deceptively difficult. I would say this is intermediate to difficult. Beautiful little things to look at, all the little toys on the shelf there you can see. The star, the Christmas tree, stuffed animals, St. Nicholas, <laughs> and what made Santas and, and sleighs, the rocking horse, which you don't see very much, and then a really cute little Noah's Ark there. And of course, a snowman that says, welcome to Christmas. <laughs> So excited Christmas is coming. It's finally here. And then some little little bunnies, some little Christmas bunnies. Such a cute little puzzle. I think this would make a, a wonderful gift, a little hostess gift for any puzzler. I think it's hard to find right now. So you can find it. Snap it up. Pun intended. So thank you, Ravensburger, for this lovely puzzle. And I wanted to see if they had an artist on here. I don't find Ravensburger uh, features their artists as much as some of the other puzzle people and the artist is Janet Kruskamp. So Janet Kruskamp did this beautiful illustration, the Christmas shop for Ravensburger puzzles. Love it. This is not to be confused with the Ravensburgers. I think I have one here that do that have the 500 one second. The 500 extra large pieces. <laughs> the puzzles really come crashing down. So this is the extra large pieces here. That's 500. And they'll have the larger size pieces, which are easy to handle. You can see in here, which are a little bit easier to handle. And I'll do a, re a puzzle review, or not much a review. Uh, I don't like to say anything negative about my puzzles. Um, I'll do an outline or, or a profile of Ravensburger at some point, talking about the different sizes and the history and why why they are the way they are. Oh, so put that over here with the stack of the other Santas and Slay puzzles. And my last one that I am not fooling you, I am saving the best for last. This puzzle, I was so happy to find it. If you see it, 100% grab it up because I have seen it nowhere. I've been looking, looking, looking because I have a friend that would like one. This is the Ravensburg Limited Edition, 24th Limited Edition. The artist is, I just had it on the tip, oh, oh, Roy Trower, who does a lot of uh, art for Ravensburger and has done many, many of their limited editions. The puzzle is called Christmas is Coming. This is the best Christmas puzzle. I would like to hear from you. I would defy anyone to tell me a better Christmas puzzle than this. This is Christmas is Coming by Ravensburger, and where you see it. I don't want to make my puzzle buddies too jealous, but look how gorgeous this is. Oh my gosh. Look, 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 look. So this is Santa and all kinds of Christmas scenes, and there are 24 little scenes, like a little advent calendar of Santa's and Christmas moments. So we've got elves and Santa coming out of the chimney and kids playing with snowmen and kittens and holly and reindeers and candy canes and stockings and ah, elves on a shelf. I didn't even see that till now. Beyond speechless. I love this puzzle. I'm going to do this, I think, starting December 1st. I will open it up and I'm going to immerse myself completely and totally into Christmas, 100%. I will have bells on and Christmas carols, and there'll be candles and boughs happening, and I will do my puzzle and think of how grateful I am to be able to enjoy such a wonderful hobby and meet wonderful people like my puzzle buddies. So wrapping up and coming to an end, thank you so much for joining me for my part two of my puzzle collection. I'll have part three coming soon. And I don't want to stall for time, but I think we're going to have an update on the Christmas tree. So are we ready? You coming up? So hurry up because I want to start, I want to end the video and get moving on our evening. Okay, ready? Here you come. Okay, well, did you need a hand? No? All right, well, come on up then. So here we are. I forgot it's far up for you. Sorry.
You did it. Alrighty. I'm so excited. Let's go. So here's the tree. Here's our tree that we haven't, how many years has this been? I don't know, decades to see this tree lit. So I'm going to give you, did you need anything? Do you need to come in a drum roll or a jingle roll? No? Okay. What about, do you want me to hand you your, your little clicker to light it? Okay. So do you want me to do it or you do it? You, you? Okay. Yeah, I think that's only fitting. You work so hard. Okay. So there's the on button. I'll hold it for you. Ready? Ready? One, two, I'm so excited. Three. Three. Nothing happened. Okay, let's do it again. Ready? It's okay. We'll, we'll get it working. Okay, ready? Okay, I'll hold it really hard this time. Ready? One, two, three. Hmm. It's not working. Oh, I was so excited. Are you sure you had it working? I didn't see it on. Okay, well, okay, I'm willing to take another chance, Copernicus, oh, and wait till video number three to get the Christmas tree lit. Is that going to work with you? Are you okay with that? Oh, you're embarrassed? Oh, that's okay. Oh, you, you wanted to surprise me with the lights, didn't you? Yeah, I know. And you wanted to surprise the puzzle buddies too? Oh, that's okay. You worked really hard and we know that. So we're, we're more than patient. Puzzle buddies are very patient people and we can wait till next time to see the tree. So until next time, I'm Lisa and this is Copernicus and we're wishing you lots and lots of small thoughts. I was kind of disappointing, eh? Oh, it'll be okay. We'll get it working.